Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. In this video, I have some fun ideas for you to try around this time of year, things to do in the fall, and DIY autumn inspired decor. All of these things are pretty inexpensive and easy to make. And for this video, I have teamed up with my friend Mako from Makochino. She is going to show you even more things you can try around this time of year. Hey guys, it's Mako from Makochino. Check out my video after Jennifer's for things you can do when you feel bored. They're not only fun, but they will also excite your inner artist. I hope to see you there. Check out Mako's video at the end of this one, and I will also put that link in the video description below. And subscribe to her channel if you haven't already, and of course, subscribe to mine if you haven't already. And in the comments, tell me which one of these things is your favorite. And let's get into it! First up, here's a really easy way to make a pumpkin spice latte at home. Fill your mug with your favorite espresso, or in my case, I'm filling mine with half a cup of brewed coffee. Next, I flavor it with pumpkin pie spice, and this actually doesn't have any pumpkin flavor in it at all, but I like that because then it's not overbearingly uh, pumpkin in the coffee. About 1 4 teaspoon or less is good, and then mix it. Now fill up the rest of your mug with your favorite creamer, I like to use almond milk. Mix that all together, and if you have a milk frother, even better, it totally brings homemade coffee to the next level, kind of like a coffee shop latte. Then I like to sprinkle some cinnamon on the top of that foam that it makes, and here is my homemade pumpkin spice latte that was really easy to make and inexpensive compared to most coffee shops. For a non-caffeinated fall drink to make, try this spiced milk. I fill a mug with almond milk, but you can use any milk of your choice. Heat that in the microwave until it's warm, and add about 1 4 teaspoon or less of allspice. Blend that all together, and again it does help to have a milk frother if you want that foam on the top, and then I sprinkle some cinnamon on top of that. And there's my mug of spiced almond milk. It's a really cozy drink, especially for the end of the day if you just want to relax. Next, here's a fun way to stamp your own pumpkin pattern. You can use non-toxic acrylic or tempura paint and your thumb. Yes, your thumb makes a pretty good pumpkin shape. Just stamp your finger along the paper to make a row of pumpkins. And you can use green paint or a marker to make the stems. You can also add a little curly shape to make the vine. You can try this on any of your projects. I thought it would look cute on the front of a handmade card. So I stamped a pattern of pumpkins with my thumb and paint. And when that's dry, I added the stems and the little vines. And then you have a fun little greeting card to give in the fall. Another fun thing to try is making candy corn pine cones. Most of you know I live in Arizona and fall is the best weather here. I love any excuse to get outside and I especially love pine trees. So I am all for a pine cone craft. If you don't have any pine cones in your area, you can also find them for sale at the craft store. I'm using the candy corn colors in acrylic paint, white, orange, and yellow, and I'm just painting the tips of the pine cones. I did see this on Pinterest, I will include a link in the video description below if you want to check that out, but you can paint these in any way you want. I think they look cool when just the tips are painted, and they make fun fall home decor. Now going back to the trees for more inspiration, here's how you can make stick leaf art. Around this time, trees usually have some dead branches or dead sticks. You can pick those off or get sticks from off the ground and use them to make more decor. I start with the stem and then make the veins of the leaf, and I just break the sticks until I get the shape that I'm looking for. Then lay out the outside of the leaf. When you have the shape that you're happy with, you can then glue the ends of the sticks with hot glue. These are pretty easy to make and you can lay out any shape of leaf that you want in any size you want. I made a small and a large one and you can really put these anywhere in your room or home that you'd like. I think they work really well on the wall. You can hang them on a thumbtack in any direction that you want and it gives some autumn vibes to your room. Something else you can try outside around the trees is shadow art. In the daytime, you can catch some really beautiful shadows on the ground, and you can actually capture those on a blank canvas. Find a silhouette that you like and just put your canvas down. I'm using watercolor paper. You can also try a different canvas and just tracing the branches with a pencil. Keep in mind this is supposed to look organic, so it doesn't have to be perfect. If the wind blows the tree, no big deal. Just trace what you can. When you're done, you have a nice outline of branches, and you can fill in those shapes with paint. I'll be painting mine in autumn-inspired colors like red and orange. 
I'm sort of blending the colors together and I'm totally fine if it looks messy. I'm going for a more organic look. And this process can be really relaxing. You don't have to think about what to paint or draw, you just have to fill in these shapes. After the paint is dry, your artwork is ready to display. I added some pieces of washi tape on mine to hang it on the wall. And here is my autumn inspired watercolor shadow art. If you try any of these projects, I would love to see your pictures, so share those with the hashtag SeaLemon on my social links. And I also have a whole playlist full of other things you can do when you're bored. I will put that up here somewhere. And I also have tons of videos on my channel, so be sure to go check it out. And don't forget to check out Mako's video and subscribe to our channels. And all of these links will be in the video description below. I hope you guys are having a good fall or autumn, and I will see you guys next time.